Could you be affected by cyber attacks? I think that you could. You probably think that you can't. Oh, I have all my systems in place. But what about the places that you use your credit cards at? What about your businesses either that you own or you work for? I remember just a year or so ago, I called a former employee because I needed to get something from payroll. Well, I was told their systems were down because a cyber attack had happened. Didn't hear about it anywhere else. Called my oldest daughter, who still lives in Columbia, South Carolina, and she didn't see anything on the news about it. So don't think that you are safe. Protect yourself the best that you possibly can, but just know things are going to happen. So let's prepare Keep a little extra funds on the side. I'm working to build mine back up on the side. So just thought I'd bring you that. Good morning, fam. Welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. Just a quick video to keep you updated as to what is happening out here. It may be a busy upload day, so please turn your notifications on if you have not. And I hope you guys are having a really blessed Friday. So the Dallas Police Department was attacked. And not just any attack. This was a ransomware attack. So ransomware is on the rise and they're bold enough to attack the police department. So the functions that are down right now is the city libraries, the city courts, the jury trials were canceled. Um, the records department is closed. They hacked the police department and the courts. So now the police department is having to use their backup dispatch systems because they cannot use the computer system. They said that 911 is not affected. However, 311 is affected, and I don't know how long this is going to last them. Usually, um, cyber criminals, they will attack the system and request money to release it back to them. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Y'all stay tuned and hopefully your local news will get updates for you and give them to you. So I'm about to head out and do some gardening right now. But if any other news stories come up, I will be back and I will see you in the next video. Take care, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be and when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Thomas Carolina Homestead. Thank you for subscribing because you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be here with me for this moment in time. Take care, stay safe, head on a swivel. This video is being used for copyright disclaimer under 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Made for fair use for a purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarships, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that otherwise might be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal Tips use. Tips the balance in favor of fair use. The Dallas Police Department is among the systems affected. DPD is now using its radio dispatch system for some services that might otherwise go online. Fox Sports' Lori Brown live at City Hall. In it's also down, and all jury trials were canceled today. Parts of the city's library site are also down. We obtained a message sent from Jack Ireland, the city's chief financial officer. In it, he said, early this morning, the city's security monitoring tools notified our security operations center that a likely ransomware attack had been launched within our environment. Subsequently, we have confirmed that a number of servers have been compromised with ransomware, impacting several functional areas. The team is actively working to isolate the ransomware to prevent its spread, to remove the ransomware infected servers, and to restore any services currently impacted. Ransomware is a widespread problem in which criminals gain access to computer servers, lock them out, and demand payment. In